Hello world, welcome to edupediaworld.com. In this video, we are going to learn about the conversions. That is, we will have a look at some of the number systems and then how can we convert from one number system to another and vice versa. The first and foremost number system is the binary system. It is the simplest kind of number system that uses only two digits of 0 and 1. By using these digits, computational problems can be solved by the machines as in digital electronics, a transistor is used only in two states which are represented either by a 0 or a 1. So the smallest computational unit bit also is the abbreviation of binary digit. It only has two states logic 0 or a logic 1. So giving a binary number system a base of 2. That is why this number system is the most preferred in computational world. Also base 2 means it only has two digits. It is in fact the internal language of the electronic computers. Then comes the decimal system which is the most commonly used and the most familiar one to the general pub public that is to us, to humans. It is also known as base 10 numbering system having the digits from 0 to 9. Also, it is one of the oldest non-numeral system. Also, is historically related to the Hindu Arabic numeral system. So, let's have a look at the table now like each numbering system has a base or maximum number of values that can be assigned to a single digit. So the table here shows the permitted digits for the different numbering systems. So let's have a look at some of the different number systems now and the digits permitted or allowed in them. The first is the binary number system, its base is 2, that is it only can has 2 digits, 0 or 1. Then comes the octal number system which has base 8, so it only can support 8 digits ranging from 0 to 7. Then comes the decimal number system, its base is 10, so it only can support 10 digits ranging from 0 to 9. Then comes the hexadecimal number system. Its base is 16. So it only can support 15 digits ranging from 0 to alphabet F where the letters A to F refer to the digits or decimal values from 10 through 15. So when referring to binary, octal or hexadecimal numbers, a single lowercase letter is appended at the end of each number to identify its base. For example, the number 45 when written in hexadecimal, it will be written as 45H. When written in octal decimal number system, uh, octal number system it will be represented as 45O. Similarly, the number in binary system is represented or is written with a letter B. So now let's see the first conversion which is converting binary to decimal. So as we have known now that a binary number is a number stored in memory in its raw format ready to be used in a calculation. First of all let's have a look at this table which is showing the decimal values. Each bit position in a binary number is a power of 
too. So there are many occasions when we need to find the decimal equivalent of a binary number. So let's have a look that how can we perform this conversion. So here are the binary numbers which are used or here is the calculation which is used in all our electronic circuits, transistors, etc. How can we convert this binary number to the number system which is known to us or to familiar to us or simply to decimal number system? Just we have to go from the least significant bit to the most significant bit or we have to move from right hand side to left hand side. Just you have to take a look at the digits or at the binary values which are having ones in them or simply we can say that which have a voltage one or which bits are on as 0 simply means that the logic state is 0 or the uh, transition state is off. So just consider the bits or the binary bits which are having ones in them or simply which are on. So if we are having a look at our first example from the least significant bit moving towards the most significant bit the value bit positions at 0 and bit number 3 ha are having voltage 1 or they are on. So only we will take the two binary bit positions with the base 2. So we will get 2 raised to the power 3 plus 2 raised to the power 0. The answer is 9. So thus we can say that this binary digit is equivalent to the number 9 in decimal value. Similarly, if we see at example number 2, again by considering only the bits which are on or which are having 1 in them, we can see that the bit at position number 6 and then the bit at position number 0, that is the most least significant bit are on or they are having ones we will take them and finally we we will have the number 65 which is telling us that okay this binary number is equivalent to 65 in decimal number system so simply this is how we convert a binary number to decimal just each binary number is a power of 2. So to calculate the decimal value of a number, just add the value of each bit position containing a 1 to the number's total value. So now comes the conversion converting decimal number to a binary number. Again we will have a look at binary bit position values. So when converting from decimal to binary we just have to deconstruct the number in powers of 2 or simply we have to see what powers of 2 do we need to make the desired number. We have to take the powers of 2 only up till the required number that is not more than or greater than our desired or given number. So this is how these are the numbers in decimal. Now we will see that how we can convert this decimal number to a binary number. So the first example 9. The greatest value, power value of 2, not more than 9 is 2 raised to the power 3, that is 8. And we need just one more number to make 9. So we will take the position, the power 2 is 2 raised to the power 0, which is equivalent to 1 to make the decimal number 9. 
suggest by enlightening or highlighting these two bit positions to logic state 1 and giving all the other states 0 we will have the binary equivalent of the decimal number 9. So similarly this is how we can convert any decimal number to a binary number just by have taking the power value of 2 not more than or greater than that decimal number and then by placing the logic state 1 only to the bit positions which are using in making that required number and placing 0 in all the rest of the bit positions as they are silent or simply we are not using them. So thus this is how the conversion takes place from binary to decimal or vice versa. Thank you for watching video on edupediaworld.com.